Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to a brand new YouTube video. Hope you guys are all doing great. Today guys, I don't have a long video, but I wanted to make a discussion video on my thoughts on how... And this is going to sound weird, but I really want to make an early discussion on this because I really, really want... And I, I'm, I'm hoping that they nail this game right when it comes to microtransactions. And I'm talking about Texas Chainsaw Massacre and how gun media should handle DLC. Now, this is going to be a heavy topic, and I, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, but I'd like to talk about it and let me know what other people think about. Um, but here's my two cents on this, and this isn't going to be a long video. By the way, this isn't my gameplay. I haven't installed Friday the 13th in a long time. Uh, I was going to use face cam to make this video, but honestly, I didn't really want to pull out my face cam because I thought it looked worse than the actual gameplay. Um, the gameplay is about, I think, 720 frames per second. Um, I'm usually used to recording um, 1080, but uh, I'm actually just trying to get this video out. And I'm not trying to rush quality and all that. I'm wasting too much time talking about this. But my mind is pretty set on what I think gun media should handle the DLC. Now, microtransactions are fine in a video game, as long as they're not outrageous, right? Look at Call of Duty, the freaking, co what is it, uh, the COD points, damn, that, that, that just sucks, right? I'm not trying to do with that. But the way they handle their DLC is pretty nice. Each season, they come out with new maps, it's all free DLC content. In the past, they didn't do that, but one thing that I really liked about Friday the 13th, the developers of that game, um, it was uh, Ilphonic and Gun Media, so they were the publishers of that game, but they definitely did have an influence. Gun Media had free DLC, but they had microtransactions that you could pay for, so kills, um, it was like clothes, and other sorts of that, right? All maps and all characters were free and this is just one aspect of Friday the 13th that I just really loved and the fact that we get free DLC was just amazing it really kept the fan base really really tight and not separated like how if you added a map and you had to pay for it you know it, it would obviously separate the fan base now that's just one thing that I really do like I feel like going forward they should add killers for free and this isn't me trying to be hey you know what like this is this is because i'm too cheap or i'm not i can't afford it no like it's not that it's just i feel like to not separate a fan base they should really think about what they want to add and what they really want to go do going forward and going forward to make the game literally the best and obviously not separate a fan base because that's one of the worst things to do in a game uh, in my personal opinion, I don't, I would, if I was a game developer, I wouldn't want to separate the fan base. And there's other ways to, you know, obviously, um, my, there's also other ways to monetize your game. Don't get me wrong, but I don't want to see te the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game go in this direction. It's just something that I think that I wouldn't really like. And I think it would kill the fan base pretty quickly because this game is growing a fan base relatively, really relatively let me say this one more time this game is growing a fan base at an immense rate an immense pace sorry i was saying that wrong but i like the uh, fan base that they're growing already everyone's having a discussion i know definitely a lot of people are talking about how they they're gonna add the cook the uh the hitchhiker or something like that they're adding more killers but i'm talking about skins for uh like skins wise i, I don't mind paying for it. don't get me wrong like i don't mind paying for different skins for leatherface but if we're getting different alternatives of Leatherface, like different killers, like, yeah, I would love for them to be free. And also different characters that we're going to be able to play as, I would love them to be free. That's just something that I really wanted to discuss in today's video. I know it wasn't a really long video, but I just wanted to get my points across. And I think the way Friday the 13th the game handled it was really, really nice. And, um, well, yeah. You know, Call of Duty, Battlefield, they're starting to go in this direction, and I really do appreciate that. You know, even if they're not in good states right now, I hope this game does release in a good state, and the microtransactions are good, you know, like they're pretty player-friendly, but not outrageous and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, guys, that's going to have to wrap up today's video. hope you guys definitely did enjoy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys. Take care.